Steve Wells, JJ Roof and Spice. I'm at our St Albans branch today where we're uh, carrying out another one of our coverage GRP demo mornings. We're also at Isleworth this coming Friday, which I think is the 11th between 7 and 12.30 roughly. We'll be there demonstrating the product. And what I thought we'd do today while we've got a lovely day is that we'll show you how easy is it to do repairs and alterations on an existing cover it roof. One of the great advantages is that you don't have to do so much of the prep work. So we're gonna have a bit of a go at doing a repair to a cover it roof that we've uh, knocked seven bells out of with a hammer, as you can see, and we're gonna do a bit of a repair. So obviously the first thing that we need to do is to, to give it an acetone wipe to clean it, just around the area. Don't have to go too mad, but just in the area where the, the resin is going to go down and the chop strand mat. No sanding. So that's the that's the big difference. There's not uh, a wealth of sanding work that needs to go on because the adhesion between the products is fantastic. We get a bit of chop strand mat. Obviously, the important thing to do is to feather all the edges so that you can blend it into what's existing. We're going to mix up some resin. We've just about got enough in there so that all we need is one scoop, nice and easy. We'll give it a good mix like you would normally when you're doing a normal roof. To make sure we don't have any clumping or lumps. You get a good even mix so you get a fantastic even cure. Don't need to over mix it, but you need to give it a good mix to make sure you've got good distribution of the hardener in the resin. We'll then give it a, a thinnish coat like you would do normally when you're laminating normal matting. And this is still the same 450 gram chop strand mat you would need to use with a normal system. Now obviously that thin first coat, like when you normally, when you normally laminate, you give it a, a thin first coat just to hold the chop strand mat in place. And then like normal, once again, just need to soak it with the resin. And you can see already, as we've worked out with uh, Cover It, that when you apply the resin to the chop strand mat, it starts to dissolve it I think is, is not quite a technical term but it actually starts reacting with that almost instantly which obviously saves time and then obviously with a consolidation roller this is doing the consolidation as you would normally do a normal roof so that the chop strand mat almost becomes transparent. You don't have to over roll it. And that's it, that's done. Now obviously another thing just to prove a point is obviously we talk about the resistance to rain on application while it's curing. Obviously it won't cure if you try and lay it on a wet surface, but obviously on a dry surface, we've then laid that and you'll see some, uh, 
got some water. <laughs> and once again, there's no reaction with the water. Obviously the water sits on it until it cures. And obviously once it's cured, you then need to dry that off and then you can literally go down with your top coat. So once that's cured, we'll be back in a while. We'll wipe off the excess rain, simulated by a cup of water, and then we'll go over with the top coat so you can see how great it looks. Fantastic. So we're now back at the ball. We're about 30, 35 minutes later, and obviously it's cured. Um, what we'll now do is we'll now just acetone the area. once again we've put the right amount in there so that we only need to put in a, a level scoop of the hardener and give it a good mix obviously we're doing a repair here um, as opposed to a full roof we're repairing the existing cover it roof that's had a bit of damage to it just trying to show you guys how easy it is to repair that damage and of course if you do any alterations on the existing uh, cover it GRP roof like putting in a roof light or something like that it's nice and easy nice and straightforward to actually do them alterations you might be putting a skylight up standing or, or something like that nicely mixed coat so no sanding we've just acetoned it down and it will give it a nice coat of top coat now obviously as we said with the base coat once the base coat's down, it is impervious to rainfall. Um, you might get a few indentations. So whilst it's obviously the same procedure for putting down the top coat, it is rain resistant. We wouldn't encourage you to do a top coat if it's about to rain, purely because you'll get dimples from, from the pressure of the rain falling onto the wet surface. You really wanna put that top coat down when you've got a dry window of weather to come. There you go, fantastic. Nice finish, nice easy repair. It's really got fantastic interlayer adhesion, which allows you to do what we've done today um, obviously with traditional GRPs you'd have to sand them back heavily to be able to do that process with cover it it's not necessary so it's nice and easy don't forget cover it the advanced GRP waterproofing system exclusively available from JJ Roofing Supplies because if it's on the roof we stock it 